Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props, and in today's video, we are gonna be working on this awesome life-size Megan display. Really happy with how this turned out. So if you've watched any movies on my channel, you know I love horror movies. I've got the Shutter subscription, Joe Bob all the time, watch those things, just binge horror movies constantly. And I love Blumhouse Productions. And when I saw this Megan movie, it just, I got a kick out of it. I love AI stuff. I love sort of that kind of Frankenstein-y kind of thing. A creator makes something in it and it turns or it's more than they could have ever imagined they could create. And this just checked all the boxes for me. It was creepy. It was fun. Some really good kills. And I just really enjoyed it. So I wanted to make a full-size Megan. So I went ahead and had some of the pieces modeled. That is beyond me, facial things like that. I cannot do that kind of stuff. Sculpting. So I had that commissioned by some one of the guys who does work for my shop. So if you take a look at 3D printed props, you can actually buy all the files to print out your own Megan. So 3dprintedprops.com, the coupon is below for that. So I had that done and then I sourced out all the clothes. I got the complete cosplay sort of outfit on Etsy and uh, links are below for that and what size I got and how high she is and whatnot, how, how big I printed it out, it's all below. Uh, the full costume was there, you just specify the size, they sew it up or alter the ones they have, boom, you got it. So this was super fun. And I can't wait to show you how I put this thing together. It makes a great little display next to Annabelle. And I've got a another creepy child display I'm working on that I cannot wait to show you that will be standing right next to her. So let's go ahead behind the fake wall and I'll show you how I put together this crazy Megan display. Okay, so I feel a little bit like Dr. Frankenstein with all these body parts I printed out, but whatever. Now again, if you want all these parts to print out your own Megan, including the body, you can head over to 3D Printed Props where you can download and print them out yourself. Now, it's gonna be holding a little bit of weight, so I went ahead and used some two-part epoxy to put this together, and then some, you know, just some tape to hold it up. Now, when I first did this, I didn't have the head uh, a hole here. So the files now have a hole, but when I first did these, I didn't put the hole in there. So I went ahead and used a heat gun. Now be careful with this because it is hot, as you might guess from the heat gun. And you can, of course, uh, burn yourself, which I did several times. But again, when you download your files, the head hole is already cut out. Now I heated up the edges a little bit so I could form them to the head and I was pretty happy with how that turned out. It looks pretty good and now it's a question of just letting that sort of harden up a little bit and put the legs together. So again, I'm using epoxy uh, just because, you know, it's going to have some weight on it. I want to be able to move this thing around since it's a stand. So generous amounts of epoxy and putting it together. So I'm going to sort of like fill this void here with some hot glue gun glue and I went ahead and probably used about six sticks inside there to just really keep it uh, you know sort of sturdy in the bottom and then I used some plumber's epoxy just around the neck you might be saying wow that looks like crap you're not going to see it she's got a dress on she's got that little scarf thing it is invisible and that epoxy hardened up and that head isn't moving at all so I bought this little base at Lowe's and I'm just cutting out so I know, or you know, drawing out, so I know where the feet go. And I'm gonna go ahead and drill some holes in here because I'm gonna use some PVC pipe to actually hold her in place. I love this little tool, this little pipe cutter. And I'm marking on the feet about where, you know, the dowels are gonna go. I used the heat gun technique again and sort of jammed this uh, pipe there <laughs> through her heel cut out a corresponding hole in the shoe, and then went ahead and epoxied these in. Again, I wanted to make sure they're not going anywhere, so I leveled them up, and uh, they are very sturdy. Now you can see I wanted to go with something else for the eyes, these, these acrylic eyes, to really help make this thing real. But to get at them, I had to do a little brain surgery. <laughs> make sure you're wearing a mask when you do this because dust goes everywhere. And this killed me because it kind of looks like wires, right? Like this is sort of like positronic brain wiring. So you want to rip those wires out because Megan's dangerous. <laughs> and if you want to get your hand in there like that, you got to make sure 
Okay, so I go over this base tone that I use with this Montana Black flesh color, and I love this stuff. I'm going to use it a lot more. And now I'm going to go with a uh, airbrush with just some sort of a rose color and just sort of hit the areas where, you know, the cheeks to sort of bring them a little life in them, the lips to, to give this flesh tone some dimension. And this really helps set things off. When you use acrylic like this, you can use it in eyes, you can use it on the lips. And what it's going to do is going to keep that sort of wet look where, you know, if a person's wearing lipstick or lip gloss, uh, you really sort of you know, make it a little bit more human looking when you add details like this. And you can see it just, it just looks really, really sharp. And that peach really sets the skin off well and highlights it. Now I'm going to put the other eye in. And for that other eye, of course, I did the same thing. I used some epoxy sculpt so that I can really push it in place. The, that epoxy sculpt would harden. It stuff gets rock hard and it's going to go against that resin and it is not coming out. Now it's eyelash and eyebrow time, and I saw these somewhere, I can't remember where, and I thought, you know, these will work. Uh, I'm obviously going to not use, like, real hair and try to push it through there, but I was pretty happy with how they turned out. Let's take a break from the face and look at the arms. Really happy with how these came out. Again, the peach is great. Here's that sort of weapon, the paper cutter that she used. And there you go. Eyelashes and eyebrows looking pretty sharp. i got to play with them a little bit more, but that's the major gist of it. I'm going to duct tape the back of the head so that the wig fits on well. And there's the paper cutter handle. Now the clothes. I got these on Etsy. Links will be below. They look great. I mean, you've got the dress. You've got the undershirt. You've got the stockings. And, of course, you've got that signature bow that she has. And I was really, really impressed with the quality of this. Now it's time to start mounting her to her base, sort of push it through. I use some glue and some duct tape to sort of hold it all together. Again, none of this is going to be seen. We start getting her dressed. It looks a little boxy, but I'm going to use some safety pins to sort of cinch it in the back to make it fit more around her waist. Now I went ahead and rolled the sleeves up, added a generous amount of super glue, the Bob's super glue, and put the arms on. I used uh, then tape, the duct tape to hold it in place uh, while the you know while the glue dried, and it really really worked out well. I went ahead and did the same thing to the other side. And that held it in place nicely. Then I finished up the paper cutter. Remember, she did those great kills with that thing. And then it was time to glue that on and let it dry. It took a little bit longer than I wanted, but again, didn't want to use the accelerant. Now it's wig time. Super happy with this wig find. I think the hair color was perfect. Uh, the length of it was really good. I need to do a little bit of styling on it, but I want to look up some videos on how to do that. But super Super happy with how this came out. She looks creepy. She's got that paper cutter and she is ready to kill. And I am loving the clothes. I am so happy I found that on Etsy because it just really helps make this look cool. So if you guys want to print this out yourself, go ahead, 3dprinterprops.com, get your files, coupon in the description below. And everything I use to do this, the paints and the whatnot, uh, that will be in the description below as well. Guys, take it easy. I had a really fun time with this one. If you liked the video, like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.